you're all caught up today? Yeah. Back in the dually, guys, slash Acura. Saving on diesel today. I'm here with the KK. And we're rolling in the Pinto. I might be just slightly thirsty. I'm changing my phone case. Change your phone well, case. This one, this one. I know you might think, that one's more pretty. It doesn't have a pop socket and um, I plug in my phone at night. I have to take it off like this every single night. But I, uh, I just wanted to. This is my own old phone case. Feels weird though to have it on there. Feels weird. I don't know why. Phone case day. Mine's black. I like black. This is an issue, Daddy. This is See, my shirt's purple like your phone case. My undershirt. This is, this, do you think this is, I think they have a screen, I think I have a screen cover on that, don't you? I mean, I, this chunk out of here, there's got to be a screen cover, right? Mm, no, that's your phone. Don't feel bad. Mine's all like that, too. But it doesn't take pictures. I'm pretty sure there's a screen cover. Maybe might be. I have to check when I get home because I'm pretty sure the pack I came with had that screen protector. Anyway, guys, back in the dually here and slash Acura and yours, um. It's not. See, yours has raised and mine are flat. That's why I feel like I have a screen protector. You might. I have a little different phone here, but we're headed to Hilger Higher Learning. That's where my daughter goes. Hilger Higher Learning. <laughs> <laughs> she is in. Seventh grade. Dad, stop it! You are dead. Do you not know what grade your daughter is in? What grade am I in? What grade am I in? You're about to be a freshman next year. So what is that? Oh, fifth grade. Are you serious? What grade are you in? Fourth grade? Dad, tell me, please. You got I know me. eighth grade is in Exactly. In the four years, so we gotta go eighth. Seven, six, five. Yeah, you're in fourth grade. Isn't that right? I'm in eighth grade, Dad. Well, in oh, eighth grade. That's what I was thinking. Oh, brain fart this morning. Oh, yeah, eighth grade is a freshman. That's right. No. Twelfth is a year. senior. No. So you're in seventh. Ninth grade is a freshman. Oh. I'm not a freshman in high school this year. That's next year. Yeah, when you turn 55, you forget about these things. See, I was a freshman in 1984, and I was behind, see, a little bit. And I graduated in 88. Oh, Laura Brooke, I pledge my loyalty. There's that voice again. Anyway, here's KK. Kate is great. Yep, read on. And we thought we'd jump on here real quick and just do a quick back in the dually. And I'm not sure what the topic is today. Kate, do you have a topic? The topic is the uh, well being a topic is the uh, well, well, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, just a second. Uh, <laughs> Five things I am grateful for today are. Number one. Family. Number two. Uh, Weenie dogs. I was about to say my dog. Are you <laughs> Weenie dogs. Number three. There's someone on my rear end. A Toyota. Oh. Um, number four. School. Sorry. Okay, number five, my family. Sit on the first one. Oh, my water's spilling over. Our number one should have been the cross, Jesus, God, yeah. our creator. Definitely. Uh, we wouldn't be here if we weren't created. No, uh, we wouldn't be, created. be here if we weren't saved. All for his glory, right? I'm telling you what, the gospel is what we're commanded to spread. We need to be out there spreading the gospel to everyone we meet. It's not about a war in heaven. It's about the gospel and the cross and belief. 
I want everyone here to take the, this is my challenge for you today, is to take the 30 day Galatians challenge. I want you to read Galatians every day for 30 days. It really helped me in my walk with God and I need to do it again. Every now and again, I, I see myself slipping and and uh, just getting up and not doing my morning devotions like I should, getting on Marketplace, looking for a piano down in Ocala, Florida, uh, like where I am yes. headed next week to get a piano. And what? yeah, I'm not headed myself, but, um, but anyway, to pour ourselves into the word and sometimes I just know it's if we get distracted I do a back in the dually instead of listening to my Bible app and uh, a lot of times I'll just listen to Galatians it's short I can start it in Saudi and it'll be done before I even get into Hicks in Tennessee so take the 30-day Galatians challenge and um, see if that helps uh, if the Holy Spirit speaks to you in there like it did to me what can the whole thing yeah the whole the whole book um i encourage everybody instead of just reading a text here there and uh see uh daniel 8 it it, it, re it says this no read the whole book and usually you get a lot better idea of what who god was preaching to at the time or who uh, uh john the baptist was talking to and who, who it, what it meant um I would be real cautious with people that pick Bible texts out of the Bible to, to fit their narrative because a lot of times mm, it's not all correct. Read the whole book and usually it's pretty clear. Maybe not Revelation, but most of it's pretty clear. Uh, there is, <laughs> a, there is some confusing things in the Bible, but oh, um, yes. and there is different interpretations and none of us probably have it completely right and that's okay. But um, we need to get it as right as we possibly can. And, and the Bible is always right. The Bible's always, there's no errors in the Bible. Somebody told me the other day, oh, this person made errors. And so, so there's errors in the Bible. No, the Bible is the breathing word of God. And, and, and it, it's still breathing today. And, and I don't believe there's any errors in the Bible. Um, no. No, maybe some translations that you have to dig deep into the Greek a little bit to see what it really <laughs> means. Uh, but Don't no, no errors, that. no errors in the Bible. Uh, sorry, no lies in the Bible. Can't pick and choose what you want to believe in there. Um, so Kate, Kate is great. Hello. Oh, and uh, better yet, read the whole entire Bible. Yes. Yeah, it's just been about a year and I'm still in like Exodus 6 reading it with my friend and she's in exodus like 14 15 or 16 yeah i am behind the time Catherine has a good friend um <clears throat> lauren daigle oh that's not it lauren i won't say the last name just that's to protect her either. That's identity not that's not it, her either you have a good, I know it's not the one you're doing the Bible study with. Oh, yes, I do. But have you have a good Lauren. friend, Lauren, and I'll just protect her identity uh, and not say her last name, but her dad's a really good friend of mine. I call him a cousin, so anybody that knows me, we I'm, are cousins. I, I, you know, we are. We are <laughs> kind of shoestring cousins. But anyway, this girl, Lauren, she's shot up, she's huge, just like my daughter growing up. Well, uh, hold on. let dad restate that. She's huge in her height. She's not, you know. <laughs> she's, she's not, not a big, wide. she's not a plus size girl. No, she's no, no, no. She's not wide. She's really skinny. <laughs> she's just like this. Like well, Lauren, tall. we apologize for the way this uh, back in the dually went today. Uh -huh. Sometimes we can go down a rabbit hole. No, she grew tall. She's a beautiful girl. Not and like, she's yeah. not wide. No, no, no. And there's nothing wrong with girls. Some girls are just, their mom and dad are wide and they, they grow wide. And that's just in their genes. So we're not. And they're fine. They're yeah, fine. I mean. They're pretty. They're beautiful. You know. I actually like plus size girl. Oh, what? But anyway. Uh, <laughs> Daddy, what is going on? Big ah. girls need love too. No. Uh, but I got my sister here, uh, my daughter here. And what? <laughs> uh, why are we talking about my sister? I have three sisters. What? Cheryl, <laughs> April, Dad. and Joy. And then I've got what? 
I just said sister, I meant daughter. I, I got a little bit of a brain fart going on this morning. It's like uh, my brother-in-law will call Julie or will call her, his wife Julie all the time. Anyway, we do this from time to time when you get up into my age. I was born in 1969. How old am I? Do the math. Put it down below how old I am. Uh, Kate, when were you born? April? 29th. 2010. 10? I'm 13. I'm about to be 14, you know? In a little bit about like three weeks, I'll be 14. I can't believe it. I'm buying a shotgun, let me tell you. No boys are allowed to pick her up for dates or anything like that until you're 35 years old. Okay. 35. That would be a I little outrageous. Dates. I plan to have kids way before that. And at 40, you can stay out past midnight, but not till then. This is my KK, guys. I'm planning um, to have kids at like, um, maybe like 27 or something. 27 children. No, I'm just being silly. But you know, in my 20s sometime, if I'm married, I want to have kids. Yeah, sure, sure. Well, be and before, thing. well, Maybe even when I'm like, yeah, in the late 20s. Because before that, I want to have at least two years of teaching in a school. Okay. Okay. Maybe I have my life figured out. Maybe not. Man, I don't think any of us ever have life completely figured out. No, um, I'm not even sure I want to be a teacher. But that's what I kind of want to be. Well, we need to pray each day that, you know, God will guide us in our daily worships and on our path with him. Which I struggle doing sometimes, and I see I need to. I, I listened to a, a little, little devotion this morning, and it was about Adam and Eve and how they were in the garden together and how they were together in the garden when they picked the fruit. I've got a lot of Adventist friends out there. I was raised Adventist. All my family's Adventist. And I was raised that Eve picked the fruit. Didn't she? And then she took it to and, Adam? And then Adam had kind of wandered off in the garden and then she brought it to him and, uh, and then he, he partook. But see, um, if... Uh, they were together? They were together. Oh, great. And that I've story got, got twisted. So guys, if it's not in the Bible, it's not true. Period. Read your Bible. Don't be confused by false teachings or anything else like that because there's a lot out there a lot of people will teach tell you that eve was in the garden and um it was eve that that, that got deceived by the serpent uh, i mean adam was right there with her it clearly states it in the bible read your bibles guys i uh, got the uh east ridge police department coming by here good thing we're in hamilton county um, anyway, Kate, are you on the phone? No, yes, possibly. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get off here because my arm's hurting, unless Kate wants to take over. Because uh, I can't just hold it, it won't work, Kate. You gotta hold it because you gotta get in your face, you know, you gotta have it's not proper. I do good content, uh, <laughs> so have you seen? Uh, have you seen what? Uh, <laughs> What's up with this tongue thing? <laughs> so I saw this thing that went viral. The girl that worked at the uh, Starbucks, and she went, uh, um. and then at one point, no, uh, not Starbucks, uh, Chick-fil-A. She worked at the Chick-fil-A. It's gone viral. And she's like, she went, um, um, and then she goes, no, no, uh, no Chick-fil-A sauce. And she stuck her tongue out like that. And it's gone viral and everybody's doing her her little skit now or whatever you call it, her little reel. Or not reel, it's a short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <coughs> but anyway, Kate likes to do that tongue too. I might be seven in mind every once in a while. Um. <laughs> anyway, we can set it off whenever you want. I just wanted to get on here and do a quick back. Well. Because I haven't done them too often, but I got a bad shoulder. It's hurting. I pulled some muscles in it. Getting an MRI next week, and uh, yeah, just uh, handed it over to KKK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's video.
a video. What do you say? Shall we video a video? What do you think? Shall we video a video? I'm actually videoing this video right now. Like I'm literally videoing. <laughs> now you're videoing a video. Like, like, like. Ain't that kind of crazy? Guys, we've never done a video, video, <laughs> video to video before. <laughs> so maybe we need to stick our tongue out. Hang on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then that voice. What a beautiful day it is oh, to be no. alive. It's that million dollar voice, baby. Now let's video what's already a video. This is this is the video we came up with. What you think, y'all? Video of a video. Hell, that I can does. see we have some great content this morning, <laughs> and that we may not go viral, <laughs> but <laughs> at least we're filling our channel with content. Are you watching it? <laughs> if you're watching it, put a um well a uh, well let's say a, a TV emoji down below. Yeah, because I don't I don't you know it's rare that I edit any of my videos and I cut anything out that I, I fix the algorithms just like YouTube likes it. I really don't know how to do that. If anybody has a, a quick way for me to upload it and there's like an AI app that will just uh, do all that work for me, let me know. I'm looking for that quick fix, rise and fame kind of thing. <laughs> Quickly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what we need. Cause I, you know, I don't have four or five hours to sit in front of the editing machine and try to figure that out. I gotta go out and make a living, man. So, uh, yeah, we're out working, raising kids. I got two kids. I got the KKK. He I does got, not have two kids, guys. He has one. Kid. He has one. No, you'll always be my kid, even when you're 34 years you old. Have, he has one kid, which is six, and my brother. It's and he has one teenager, which is 14 almost. Of all, it's Christmas in June. I can. It's not June. <laughs> oh yeah, it's April. Your birthday's in just like three weeks. Exactly. Do you know where we're going for my birthday? Okay. Well, where did we already go for me and my brother's birthday, which was in January? We went to Urban Air. Me and Drew had a double birthday party at Urban Air. And now, guess where I'm going? We're going for my birthday. Like a day. We're going for three nights. So wait, four nights. Four nights. No. Yeah, yeah. Four nights, two full days at Margarita Margaritaville. Thing. I'm a margarita baby. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lay off the alcohol. But every now and then I'll have one. But, uh, you know. Every uh, now and then? Uh, well, I struggle with that sometimes. But just, uh, anyway. Uh, and we're going to Margarita. Margaritaville. It's family friendly if you're wondering why it's, if it's not. Look it up. It's the Margaritaville RV Resort and Lodge in Pigeon Forge. And we're staying in the lodge even though we have an RV. I mean, not an RV, a camper. You know, a fifth wheel, not even a camper. You know what I mean. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> she just literally slapped her face with the camera guy. She was <laughs> she she slapped herself in the face in the mouth with the camera. That tickled just a little bit. In KKK. -K -K. Anyway, this is my daughter Kate, uh, thirteen years old, about to turn fourteen. Um... And we're on. 153 Airport Road, Shepherd Road, Lee Highway, and uh, just think I'm about to get off at Lee Highway here and, and go to Hilger Higher yeah, Learning. Yeah, yeah, cool. God bless you guys. Keep uh, God number one. Where'd my phone one. go? Where'd my phone go? Spread the gospel to everyone you meet. Don't worry about your phone. I it's here. It. You're videoing at the moment. Oh, sorry. So the most important thing is to end the video and then look for your phone. So. <laughs> We want to be able to put this content up. Did I not mention I did not edit? <laughs> I don't edit. <laughs> you know you didn't leave it at home because you just videoed the video, right? So it's got to be here. Love you guys. Keep God number one. Spread the gospel to everyone you meet. And have a great day. See you on the flip side. Because